on this is fantastic worlds from the future bringing you news of what has happened now unfortunately cultist simulator did it again it crashed the devs work on his own once functional game has unfortunately brought us to ruin so i did another episode of shadows of forbidden god starting a, a new run essentially doing what i called the flood strategy which is of course um how to flood the world with shadows as quickly as possible in order to take over the minds of the men and the rulers to bend their will to our dark god so it's a pretty basic strategy you're not using a lot of things of infiltration and shadow spreading but this is what i'm gonna have to offer for today unfortunately until somebody somewhere manages to make all the simulator work properly i've got like 20 minutes worth of gameplay and that didn't work so <sighs> i don't know what i'm going to be doing I'm going to probably take a look at some of the forums and see if there seems to be something going on. In the meantime, I'm leaving it to you guys. If you want me to continue with Shadows of Written Gods, go back to Darkest Dungeon or um, something else on Saturday uh, while I finish the lore episode. Because like I said, the lore episode is currently in process as I am recording portions of it. It takes a lot longer than a regular episode, unfortunately, because it's just a one and done for most of these episodes. So I will get that out as quickly as possible. In the meantime, of course, I've got to fill the Saturday slot. So let me know this Darkest Dungeon or something else. Comments down below. Anyways, let's get over to what I call the bring. Let's bring the flood strategy. All right. Anyway, so Shadows of Urban Gods, if you don't know, is a game that is an alpha that is currently a love cross between Lovecraft and Tolkien and where you play a cultist who's attempting to raise a evil god to devour the world which is really my kind of game. Which, all right, so in order to get it right, as you can see, however, that's so new game. This is the Elder God we'll be playing. The Elder God is known as She Who Will Feast. This is probably going to be a kind of blitzing through her because I've gone through this intro a few times. But yeah, the She Who Will Feast is in fact a giant space worm that will devour the earth it comes it's basically a larval form as you describe it when she devours a world she sh she devours all of it then shoots off offspring to other worlds which then land and then wait slowly and grow to the point where they're going to devour the world and do the same again it's a really interesting life cycle involving um genes uh, the genocide of entire planetary populations but you know you got to live and you got to eat but what we are doing is just powers of spread of shadow awakening as we are going to be there Slavish high priest known as a supplicant. Hmm, this isn't working. Okay, so. All right, so let's see. Yeah, apparently there is a bit of a dimension issue. Give me a moment. I'll get it ironed out, hopefully. Really? This has been one hell of a fun, guys. All right, so yeah, that right up to here. Boom, we got it. Good. One less technical issue. Let's see, winter captures down. There we go. Sorry about all that. Anyways, so this is the basic world, map zero, as it's called. It's the one that you get in demo. If you like it, you can get the demo free from uh, Steam. It'll let you play the first 200 turns of any one. And we are going to progress into that. I uh, should probably change the, uh, change the title. Sorry. And boom, actually, I still have my uh, <laughs> still have the description for this episode on this one. Yeah, it just seems to be um, <clears throat> a thing that we are doing. Anyway, storage. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, God, I got to find the damn picture. I am so sorry. Hang on. Let's see. It should be right. Download. Yeah, like I said, this is kind of a messed up day. Okay, see. And boom. Change. Change. Okay, we change the intro. We'll keep monetization because, of course, it's the primary reason for things. Oh, not really. I kind of do it because I enjoy the game. Yeah, if you came in expecting Cult of Simulator, I'm sorry, the game crashed. And we've lost the run, apparently. I'll try to fix it later. We'll use back game to an real save, but if it doesn't work, we're kind of messed up. But we are doing Shadows of Forbidden Gods now. Now, what it is is we're doing the basic map and we're doing the basic first god because I can't actually have... Um, hi, did you want to be part of this? Yes, there is a four-footed furred creature down here who is demanding attention. Gonna, sorry, 
hit the, hit the microphone. This is going to be kind of a casual run. So yeah, this is us, the supplicant, the high priest of the Shihu feast, the, the uh, star worm that is set to rise from the elder tomb and devour the world in a horrific biological calamity. And we have to basically corrupt the corrupt the entire world. All right, while, by the way, we are currently being faced against the chosen one of the gods of light and humanity have decided to have oppose us, who is, of course, extremely... Um, Dedicated to her job. Dislikes Shadow, but likes her turns can't. So mm. oh, apparently she's got a romantic romantic thing. Yeah, actually relationships were added to the uh, last um, update because this is an alpha. So what are we going to do with all of this? We, we're going to be doing the most basic version of the, of the play, which is, in fact, the what I call Bring Down the Flood. Now, Bring Down the Flood is going to be a game in which we try to enshadow as much of the world as possible. Now, Shadow is the influence of the Elder God against on the world. We have enshadowment of 100% in our own tomb, but it's zero everywhere else. Now, in order to do this, we have to do what's called infiltrating. We have to infiltrate all of these communities and with our cult and get them to get them to help assist us moving Shadow into the world. Now, one of the things you want to do at the beginning, or like I said before, is make sure you understand what's going on. Now, it's map one. We've got this one down. There's orcs attacking the kingdom Mincerent, but they will be decimated because they are far weaker. She's over here in the kingdom Ouds, which will try to become the core of a uh, of a, the alliance against us, and it is a massive country. So, and we start here in this broken midlands. Biggest countries down here is the Queendom Sinons, and we'd have we had the plan currently is to try to enshadow all of this to face off against the Alliance, which means we have to work very efficiently. Now we have two agents to start with. The supplicant obviously is the first one, who is good, intrigue, commander three, and two in might and lore. But what we want to do is create an agent known as the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a dark god of the um of the occult, and they're Good at infiltrating, not much else. Truly really interesting is they have an ability that lies in lore, which they can't use until they upgraded the lore. So I really just kind of use them as a super spreader for of uh, of, uh, in, of dark god worship. So what we're going to do is that we're going to consider where we're going to place them. Now, the, for example, this is a castle. Security is one. Now security is how difficult it is to infiltrate and the security on cities is five. The capital is eight. We have to lower the we can, of course, go in and start trying to infiltrate the high security zone, but it'll take dozens, dozens of turns. So instead, what we will do is we'll try to lower the security by essentially infiltrating all the areas around it. Now, the first action I'm going to take with the supplicant is to come over and start infiltrating the castle. And we'll probably at the same time work towards leaving the village. Now, if you pay attention to the lines, this is where shadow will flow down these lines of travel. So. Think of it as water pouring down from the Elder Tomb, and when you infiltrate a place, you are removing the resistance to said um, water flow. Yeah, where is that? Yeah, too many windows. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we are going to enthrall a Hierophant, basically take over a priest's mine in the Eterans Village, where we have a security of one, and Baron Itrus Peshens is currently leading. Yep, you can even see the uh, details on the... Uh, on the leaders, it's really fun. And you notice he has an enshadowment. If you enshadow a place long enough, the Baron will come under our thrall. So, we place a Hierophant here. We're gonna increase his intrigue, because intrigue is the speed at which you infiltrate, and immediately start infiltrating it. You see, it will take 19 turns, and the Supplicant will start here at the castle. Now, the Supplicant has three special abilities, Conduit, Gain Two Power, and Enshadowing, plus again, uh, Dying Light, when in human settlement, increase shadow by 1%, and Martyr for the Dark. When killed, in human settlement, all points of interest come infiltrated. Yeah, that means dying. This doesn't happen that often. We go for the dying light. So just by infiltrating the fortress, we'll have 19% in the for castle itself, just by itself. Plus, of course, all of the shadow flowing in from the castle and uh, turned to the castle in the city from the direct tomb. Now, ruins and such will get enshadowed, but they don't really matter. You can't infiltrate them and they move slowly through it. So you have to basically do the trade routes if you really want to go. Think of yourself like a plague. And later on, we can actually plague every now and then. Um... And that's what you're doing. Now, the quick thing to do is that you notice, okay, morning, occasionally things go happen. Like King Ferexi Billet relieves the news of his father, Duke Peron Ballet's death over and over, haunted by his memory. Without sleep or rest, they were losing their mind to grief. In dark times, they are prey for the elder powers. They do not can defend their mind against the forces that don't do it. The memory won't fade. Morning period will increase by 15 turns. Or we can drive them to madness. Cost one power. That's that's the power up here. We only have one point right now because we're at weakest stage. So driving the leaders of humanity to madness is within our best interests. Also, fun times. 
But you notice right there, that every time I click on it with the supplicant doing there, it goes up by hidden shadowment. Now at 8%. Now at not 10, 11. Boom. Morning. Citral Batrat comes to the solace of King for the one who drove crazy. He's grieving great loss. Brought together by circumstances of common humanity, they find themselves to bring hope and purpose together. Okay, a rebound romance. Got it. Supplicant is a counter that's wrong with local vermin. Individually, vermin provides a little threat, but they can never be problematic. We can kill the vermin and lose one hit point, or we can lose five challenge progress. Given that their intrigue is four, and essentially that would mean that I'd be one turn and slow down another turn, let's do the hit point, because it only take one turn to be able to do that. Now, Hierophant Dion Hentag has found the guards to be usually proficient at their tasks. Our agent can take either their time to ensure discretion or they can proceed at pace. Proceed to gain three profile. Profile is how obvious we are. Or employ discretion. I'm going to employ discretion simply because it's harder to get rid of um, profile. That's how obvious you are. The Lightbringer, yeah, this is the chosen one. She's now been zinged by the gods of light saying, oh my god, there's a giant space where I'm about to eat the planet. You should probably do something about that. All right, so our enemy is now aware and our life becomes considerably less useful, easy. Not that it's easy to worship a dark god, but here we go. Another seal breaks and your god comes closer to the return. One broken of nine, and to get to nine, the giant space worm larva will come out. Eyes in the shadow, boost infiltrate and slow kids. That's actually pretty good because we're going to use that to speed up our uh, the process of enslaving the people of this area to the power of this giant space worm. You know, didn't type of religion. All the kids are into it. Pardon me, would you like to hear about the giant space worm? Anyway, supplicant completes infiltrate fortress. Shadow will spread at a faster rate than normal infiltrate air as the cult welcomes the darkness in. Cultists join the watch along the ring of the guards, identical to normal eye. They recognize each other by a single scar on the left eyelid, making them of those who have seen the truth beyond what is in the academic or palatutus. Yeah, one of the things is you can go to any event. There we go. Like, And that immediately shift your cursor over. But yeah, and Cassiel Batet has died of old age. And the kingdom in Sent has declared war on the orcs. That will be a shift. Okay. King Bellet wiles in despair and is slipping the shadow of soul surrenders to the horror. Okay. I believe, yes, he is now dead of grief. So the heir will eventually take the throne, which is won't be crazy, which is kind of depressing. But yeah, agent's still at two. So we have now taken over this place. It's in shadow at 24%. Now, you'll notice security dropped from five to four because we took the village. Um, and when we go here take the, the next village that will drop to a three which i probably will do Let's see next here now i'm actually gonna i can ins use like a called the well of shadows at the castle here since we're at 10 percent shadow and that will allow us to be able to start spreading shadow all around us now the reason i'm not doing that by the way the reason i'm not doing that is because once i start spreading shadow everybody starts freaking out Notice the world panic still is 3%. God is awakening, sets minimum at 3%, and the God and victory is at 0%. Basically, we have to destroy settlements, drive rulers and heroes insane, or shadow them, or both, or uh, form a dark empire. Mm, we're working on the dark empire part, I think. But I may change goals. I think about cultist simulators, you change goals a lot. So we infiltrate the holy site. We can probably desecrate it later. For fun and profit. And we'll move over to the village and start infiltrating that. That will start lowering this city's security even further down to a three. And we may take the bribe option to be able to lower it down to a one, allowing us to start chew through the, through the uh, city's uh, defenses. Now, the thing about this supplicant is we can either A, do the intrigue up to five, which is good, mind you, or the lore up to three, which is better for some of the things I want to do. Or we can make him stealthy. I don't want to make him stealthy yet, as he's not doing a lot to attract attention. But we'll put him at lore as, his much, as it's higher than the uh, pertinent decay. The shun begins to set. The first shadow begins to take hold. The world becomes slightly darker. As you expand your shadow, the nobles and heroes of the world become obscured by darkness, lose the ability to defend themselves in your coming dominion. Stars just shine less brightly. Yep, giant space worm is on their way. Notice, notice the infiltration has brought the profile menace up slightly. So, okay, Sir Ballot comes to the king. who's grieving great loss. The relationship improves. Great. Soap opera going on in the background. Now, I have two power, which means that I can also infiltrate an additional place. Now, one of the things I can do is I can either fully infiltrate one of the small places, like the cathedral, which only has one spot to infiltrate, or two here, the catacombs and the holy site, or I can infiltrate one of the three places, the sass sewers or the library. So what I'm going to do is actually use power, eyes in the shadow. That will allow us to infiltrate the library, which is good because that means I can get my dude in there to learn some magic. You know, magic is good except when the other guys are using it. Fleeting Servant creates a, a rumor of a powerful um, 
enemy and that will might make the heroes run in that direction assuming that mine isn't really horrible either okay so they've lost their leader so the lightbringer is doing all the good guy stuff and killing the general of the orc army in single combat okay we got that down okay the duke okay so yeah people have started to notice Supplicant encounter gaggle, Anchemist, these poor fools, driven by a dangerous mixture of curiosity, naive but arrogant greed, imagine themselves on the verge of slaying life's problems. Immortality, lead to gold, their desires of a pedestrian, their approaches could be for a fruit, a given emphasis. Now we can deceive them and give them 50% if we decide to spend some time doing it. We could get some gold, we can, we can avoid them entirely. I like to add the shadow. Okay, the guards post or, a troll's orders and the watchmen to duty, but none are patient and gossip as the elderly folk of the village, women of the village. The vast network to rile any spy craft or craft, they become suspicious of Hierophant, Diane, Diane. Dan's coming and going, is muttering about the presumed misdeeds and foul motives. They may not suspect the truth, but they certainly have an experience to know something is wrong, something is hiding something. Now, I can either do nothing and gain 10 profile, or I can kill them all and get 10 menace. Now, menace is how dangerous you're seen, and profile is how visible you are. If I'm visible with a low... Oh, someone died. And God. Death, their mind fills with the anger of the evil's world, which took his wife from him and has growing weakness. His soul and bottom, he feels filled with strength. He's not filled in the air, driven by thoughts of vengeance and justice. The shadow is to cleanse, name grown to hate the shadow. Seriously, dude, your emotions are everywhere. Take a... You, you might want to get some... I'd say you get some help, but I actually want you to get worse. Okay, agents two or three. So we now have one, th to one slot open is we can grab another agent. Now, some one of my strategies is to grab um, either the either another Hierophant or a high-influence character, um, a unique character such as the Trickster or the, courier, or the cour Courtier. Now, right now, since doing a basic run, I might just grab a Hierophant to start using what I call the Disposable Mook method, basically supercharging them with Menace and Profile, making them the obvious targets, and then when they get killed, if they have a particular trait called Infamous, they'll reduce all the heat to everybody else. So, probably going to use that one, just because we can. And, you know, I like Disposable Minions. But, who, where are we going to stick them? Because we can start doing some infiltrating. We've already infiltrated here, so... Citadel, the castle would lower the capital here, which is at an eight, which will be a seven shortly. Yeah, we're gonna take some time to wear that place down though. Hmm. Yeah, the shadow is getting nice here. 13, 32, 13, 63, because we let that alchemist. Uh... So yeah, if another possibility is we can start working our way up north here. Now the coven's interesting is because I can use this to enshadow dark worship and just murk capital and the, and the citadel with a whole bunch of shadows so i think what i'll do is i'll stick him here then start infiltrating the coven of witches well you know you know tiktok and all that all right Eesh. Do, 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 do. Okay, even after the holy site, given the high priest's faith cannot be shaken, perhaps sinner's sister superior cannot be swayed, but even among the holy there are those who crave power. Perhaps their current god has failed to deliver what they hope for, perhaps Oops, sorry. Uh, when joining their order, perhaps a change in faith might reward them as they're right. Yes, by the way, Joe, worship the giant space worm. It will work well, well for you. Okay, so. Dismissed. So, now we've got that. The cathedral done. We've, like, lowered the security here to three, and the security here is lowered to four. So, actually, the city of Mistral might be our next target. So what we can do is we need cash. So we're going to do a subtle thievery. We'll take 35 out of the treasury without making a lot of notice. Then we're going to hit the city. Uh huh. Now I can use stealthy, lore, or intrigue. Now lore is interesting in that I can use some of his special abilities such as preach the gospels of violence, canvy, and cowardice to start messing in people's heads. Now, I, I really like messing in people's heads. This would, if I take lore two, it would allow me to, um, 15 turns but we're kind of working on a schedule here so we are going to change that and okay so we steal the gold 35 gold dismiss you notice our profile is still going up hit the city we bribe guards scribe guards we'll take one turn for our dude dan and that lowers security as you now notice the security for this place is now one which makes it a lot easier to be able to infiltrate we'll take him start infiltrating the sewers of the market I like to do the sewers. You can you can summon rats and you can start plagues. We're not going to start a plague here. It'd be kind of like, you know, vomiting on where we eat. But let's do it. Okay. And where are you on all this? Yep, one turn left on you. We have now done the farming community. I right. will electrically look at one up. And this is currently security of three. Again, we can do the same thing. Little thievery. 
And you can see down here, up here, the fight is going on with, uh, with the orcs in the kingdom, and the kingdom is kicking their ass. But, okay, dismiss, subtle thievery. Okay, Hierophant Pang feels an unwell as a poison racks the system. The spy to humans, less direct and visible, and the method neutral hero has managed to poison her? Okay. Should have a picture for each gender there. That they should slow down the progress so we can heal them with a measure of our power. Heal the agent or endure the poison. Lose hit points. Screw it. Lose power. That's the point in having an evil god if they don't do things for you. All right, so yeah. Now notice we've got a hero in the same location. Mage Isis Luvrin is currently trying to drive back the shadow. What that will do is it will kick back a number of the shadow depending on how decent it is. Now, she's also got the primal waters running through her system, increasing her stat by two. That's from this primal font. Now, one of the attacks I could have done is trying to take control of the primal font and then use the powers for myself, but that would take time. And it's going to wear off the hero anyways. You can see we've got another hero combat bad, uh, banditry. We Basically, the heroes have noticed something's wrong and they're starting to do something about it, which could be bad for us. But first things first, we're going to learn an arcane secret. Because that will increase the shadow here by 17% by the time he's done. And he'll then thing is a library can only have one arcane secret. And if we take it, the heroes can't take it. So it's kind of a way to keep things going. Plus, once we get two power, we can try to... No way, that's... Uh, can't do this here. We can do this for the C. Nope. Anyways, we'll have uh, we'll have fun. Anyway, let's see. And turn. Let's move forward. King Baltaret has figured out that you know, the guy with the heads we're missing is decided to increase wards against shadow now this basically yeah the wells of the wards of um light are a thing that will that heroes can do where is it on colonialism ow that's a recent one they've added steal from run of fires yep ward current level 100 percent, but they will dissolve over time and yep so here's where the mage infiltrate custom which is good all right the mage has done it and you see it's dropped to 51 percent. now the reason it's so low is that we've got shadow in every direction with the strings there yeah it's just creeping in everywhere at this point but we have to watch out let's see so we've got this down it would toss me 25 turns to do it in shadow do i if i don't use him however i've got to bring the uh thing is yeah it's gonna basically there you go take 25 turns but it should be 25 turns well spent if we can start infecting the kingdom here the shadow brings it to a hundred percent Okay, it's a double checking a couple things. All right, let's go. Where is that view? All right, so yeah. Not as popular as Cult of Simulator, but I should be expecting that. Okay, so who does what first? You will be done in 14 turns. You will be done in 8 turns, and you'll be done in 25. All right. So let's concentrate on this guy. Notice we still only have three agents. We will for a while here. Okay. Remember, when they put ruins up and such, they um are basically making our job a little harder because they every every settlement that is destroyed goes to our victory because, you know, victory. So if they rebuild things, it gets rougher. But the thing is, is that we could, we do have the option of coming in here and just raiding the outposts, which basically would, you know... <laughs> Complexity 40 probably requires more martial character than the ones we have right now and would drop it by 100 per 100. So if, for example, we modify our 150 right to zero, they'll have to start all over again. Now, again, we're unfortunately, we're all busy. Otherwise, we could be doing something like that. Okay, power two. That means that we can probably merc another place and we will merc. Use eyes in the shadow. Boom. To do this one so we can get that nice rivers of shadow just pouring through. Yeah. These two combat, but yeah, things are kind of going downhill for the for the forces of light over here. So they're really starting to congregate on the place. Okay, there's something wrong here. Why is evil flowing? Uh, power of evil flowing freely. Okay, so. Okay, yep, they're all donating. Ah, vast sewers go too. Dangers in the dark means that if I drop two points and say where a bunch of heroes are doing things, we can essentially um the uh make take him hp damage right it's good i have yet to kill it actually a hero with it actually all right so let's see what else we're going to be doing here so you are up and running tell me what your problems are you look to the market will take 10 turns look at modifiers where is my wait, modifier modifier bribe guards will last another 16 turns it probably means that 
No, it won't be an issue. All right, so quickly infiltrate the market while we still can. Then we can infiltrate the palace if we spend some more cash. We just have to run off and get some more from the village or cathedral. And then we can really get the shadow going in this place. As well as, you know, mess with, it, mess with people's heads. Mm, I mean, I'm tempted to do the Gospel of Envy here. The problem being, of course, that if I do so, then um, they become more virulent at their cruelty. No, I mean, I'll do that anyways. This isn't my kingdom yet. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, they're running every The heroes are running everywhere around us. He's doing shadows again. A baron. Sustained uh, Lutheran. Lurea. The baron. Has taken 50% shadow and shadow. This will reduce their motivation to perform fierce actions to harm your interests, such as attacking your heroes, warding in shadow, driving in shadow, ordering destruction of high menace locations. So this is him. 50% shadow. Awareness 0%. She's at 0 Apparently she's a bit more sheltered. They also have stats, by the way, might lore intriguing command, but they don't actually use them that much. They might use them for the actual, let's see, let's see, quest local actions, muster defenses, for example. Yeah, positive tax, yeah, motivation, unrest. You know, it's always a lot of work to maintain any sort of settlement. Politics. Get you every time. Okay. Oh, you again. And the intent profile, we're going to have to go to ground when we are done here. Yep, King Ascent is now aware. Shadow is getting the queen. It's good. wants to donate that. And we the orcs are getting annihilated. But notice the colors are getting darker here as the shadow spreads. Oh, gods. You again, take their aid, lose one power, gain ten challenge. Okay, we'll go with that. And you are shadowing good. Let's see. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the shadow is down to 0% down here at the cathedral because he did a full consecration, but it'll still pour in from everywhere else around it, so it's not really going to... It's just slowing things down a bit. Yeah, I notice even here is getting a shadow because it's connected to the Elder Tomb, and the ruins will eventually, when it starts filling up, just think of evil like water, it flows. So you have three turns left, you have five, and you have four. So it's going to be really quick. There we go. Infiltrate market. Dismiss. Oh, another one losing, getting lost. Yep, in the castle there. All right, so infiltrating this will take another 10 turns. Ooh, okay, we can do this. 10 turns now, we'll have the whole place to ourselves. Hit it. Okay, so at the same time, yeah, you're going to be done next. And, ooh, infamous. And he gets killed. What will happen is that he will, of course, take the heat off everyone else. Still only three agents, which will be like for a while. And boom, Lauren Kane's secret. Dismiss. But also, since he's got the dying light, we've been shadowing the place where I've been sitting here. But we should probably take a look at our dude because he is kind of low. One of the things about laying low in a city is that, again, every turn he stays here, he goes up 1% in shadow. Again, everything gets darker as a result. Okay, let's... Is this a sound? Oh, no, just... Just a quick note. All right, so yeah, laying low, we'll keep going till he gets a minimum or I stop it, but we, shadow is gonna be more important. Ooh, stealthy, we wanna keep him around longer. He'll just slowly lose from a menace and profile over time. And shadow, boom, there we go. And completes in shadow. Darkness swirls out the shadow, swallowing up the houses, cities, streets, and provinces. Candles and bonfires from a distance to start night and cast as much light. Okay, so we have 100% here, which means it will start flowing into both this, this pocket kingdom and eventually end the uh, capital here. Which is good, because what we're going to do immediately is we're going to do Dark Worship. Now, Dark Worship spreads shadow from this location. The amount of shadow will be applied to... The amount of, an amount of shadow, maximum to 100%, will be applied to not close to non-shadow connected locations. Adds 20 menace, which may res to the Coven of Witches, may result in human nations invading. We don't care. They are disposable pawns. That's 25 turns down the road, because we picked a low uh, lore character to do it. Yeah, we could pay for that later. But, let's see. Yep, King Desant... King Kant is, okay, so minimum profile is six, minus of 12, just take the extra five. You can also dismiss any types of these alerts by kind of like being told what's going on. But yeah, the heroes are just kind of, heroes are just kind of, okay, Hierophant, oh, it's Dan, just deceive them all, okay? Ooh, another Baron being lost to Shadow. So it's getting to add up here, like, Right here, you're infiltrating the palace, and it's already at 59%, which means that these places will start to tick up as well. It's like all the evil keeps flowing. Evil must flow. Vast sewers will take him 13 turns. 
to move closer to being able to do this. Now the question is, do we take that time? We've got 100% here and 74 here. It, this place is already pretty dense. So what we could do, we could move towards getting, moving things in this direction towards the queendom, queendom by going to the cathedral and infiltrating that, which is what I think I will do. Okay, it will, it will inform me when I arrive. Keeping an eye out. We need agents to go up. Okay, unscrupulous support, the Hierophant. Well, you're not the infamous one. Let's gain the profile and the uh, this, and the uh, progress. So you're here. I want you to infiltrate the holy site. You add anyways. 55, yeah, they protect the holy sites because if I desecrate a holy site, I can summon a powerful character known as Baroness, which, considering how many cathedrals I've got going here, is probably okay. Now, one of the things about if I had stuck around, I could have enshadowed this to 100%. That would increase it, but it's already at 75, so... We're going to shadow something. We're going to shadow something a little further out to spread the love. Because it's all love, baby. Yeah. Again, this may be the void. New, uh, yeah, wards coming up. Shields are, they're raising their shields, which is basically like sandbags against the water. Dark worship. Now, this is going to be interesting. Oh, should have read it too. What we did is we basically spread our shadow to everywhere we're connected. 43% in every direction. Now, if I do it again, I'll get to 86%. This place will probably get flattened, but I'm going to do it again. I don't care. The coven is disposable to me, and I will continue to spread shadow into the hearts of men and women and whatever else is here. Okay, if we, let's increase his lore so we can speed this up a bit. Dismiss. Dismiss. Uh, what have you done? But shadow, that's good. Creates a shadow agent by tearing the shadow off a uh, shadow off a hero. The shadow can be controlled by an agent whose HP turns not near its parent or in another location with shadow. So what we want to do, since we have all these lovely heroes, we want to pick somebody who's useful to us. I mean, lore command. This guy's pretty weak. Uh, who else have we got? Because we get these areas with fifty percent higher or close to it. Sixty-one percent. Yeah, we don't have anybody yet. They seem to have scattered a bit. Like if I had to pick this one, they've got a lore of one, intrigue of two. Nope. This one, Intrigue 3, 3, yeah, that's decent, but I need to get them to an area where it's highly shadowed. So, yeah. Also, we can shadow heroes, which is cool. All right, so, yeah, Infiltrating Holy Sight, you are current at odds, aren't you? Now, with you, I could preach the Gospel of Envy and make them that, but I could do Subtle Thievery, start a well of shadows to start moving stuff in shadow. That's 25 turns, so if I'm going to in shadow, I'm going to be using the... Uh, Supplicant to do so, which means I need to do the supplicant's job so he doesn't have to by infiltrating that village. Okay. And infiltrate farming community. Okay, let's get to work. Yep, they're starting to build the alliance against us. Let's see if we can move fast enough to stop it. Now, however, we have a fourth agent. Now, with this agent, we're going to make a dark empire, which is one of the things we can do. Ooh, we've got a horde here. It's interesting. Well, it might become useful later, but I could have summoned the Baroness if I had a desecrated holy site. I don't at the moment. So instead, what I can do is summon the, another agent known as the Courtier, which is a politician, basically. You notice they have a high intrigue, be decent lore, and a good command. So let's grab. He can also cause um, scandals, which is fun. But we're going to put him here. Now, we're going to use Mana Means, 150 gold, familiar face, home location, security loses three, noble connections. All cities lose location to one, which is better. Security here is, in the city, is currently six. So we need to start like we did before. Just start wearing that down a bit by dealing with ones that are connected. Now, the first one I want to do is the Citadel, which only has a security of zero. Wow, you're trusting fools. We're going to infiltrate it rather quickly. It's only 13 turns. He's going to blitz through all of this. And then as the shadow is continues to generate from the coven, it will just spread through these zones. All right, so turn there. And the Alchemist, the Supplicant, yes, definitely add the shadow. The Sodderhood, cult of this for centuries. This, okay, we've done this before, but the Daughterhood is a sect that worships the first daughter of uh, creation who essentially wants to undo her father's mistake and undo creation. Now, we can take the... We are going to summon her into this citadel. Wow, is she really here? Nope, okay. We have to basically find her. I think she's usually over here. Nope. All right, where is she? <laughs> oh no. Uh, she's gone missing. We'll have to find her later. I may not even use her, but if we can get her and do the proper elements, we can actually 
create what's oh there she is that's it daughter seer right here it's kingdom if we pick her there we pick her up as a as a asset and we can use her to summon the first daughter which is a massively powerful entity that usually will murk a few cities before the armies of men will destroy it if you can kind of combine that with some other things we do we might be able to do our damage but six turns left there 12 here seven there and 11 here so you're done first miss excellent you're falling to shadow okay wards wards come on come on all right okay we've gotten spotted you want money but we're poor so again we'll get the AMS. now when i get him killed instead of a recruitment point i'm simply going to replace him uh build alliance infiltrate holy site here we are okay so what that's going on we have this place which we can in shadow no they're being 100 percent 61 now what are you doing dude what are you doing Completing training. So, not in shadow neither. You might do something more serious. Now, if I super and shadow this place, it will speed up everything around it. That could be useful. Go from King Queendom. Security on these two sections, seven and seven. Ooh, not likely, but let's just see if it, that works as a strategy. Go to, start, okay, deceive the fools again, because more shadow is better. Go to. Miss Orcus Slend. Okay, so yeah, Shadow is 100% here and 100% here. It's going to start darkening people real fast. So what we want to do at this point, since this place is about to get murked, is we want to start moving that Shadow by infiltrating the areas around it, moving it out to the north to meet our Shadow coming from the south. The city here is going to kind of break the uh, point here, so it's going to be important to get that one under control. Meantime, you, Shadow, should take nine turns, so it'll be 100% Shadow. Everyone will get murked. What are you doing? Lore 5, I think I like to... I think I like you. I think I like you so much, I'm going to keep you. Use power, split shadow. We now have... Her evil twin. Now, now we have an evil twin with the Intrigue of 4 and a lore 5. We're going to do some serious damage. So, we can go anywhere. The shadow is at 72%. So what we can do is we can use her to infiltrate the catacombs. Which shouldn't take too long. Let's desecrate the holy site. Let's desecrate the holy site first. Always fun to desecrate. Okay, so yeah. All right, you have reached the bastion. Okay, the courtiers include a skeleton warriors, stronger men are organized in undead pawns, skeleton attack, and discerning silence or blows unrelenting. We can undo, we lose three hit points and reduce our menace, which is not high, just lose the progress. Ah, shadow, good. More people are succumbing to the dark side. Trade the fortress. So yes, it's kind of okay. You are now completely under our thrall. Excellent. You will help bring your species to an end. Okay, another one, and another one, and 50% for you. Excellent. You're all getting lost in darkness. Infiltrate forces, go to... Okay, good, we'll get to you in a moment. Okay, well that's 100%, 100% infiltration, so that should be in shadowing nicely. 9% there, we're not picking you up yet. Not until we're ready. City is at security 4, you're at security 4, so we need to get the abbey done. Infiltrate that. Good holy sight. Try to keep uh, everybody busy. All right, so we've done blasphemous rituals to increase my power by two, which is kind of cool. But instead, we could infiltrate the catacombs and bring it to 100%. And possibly have access to, okay, more wards. Yep, Army of Rate will destroy the coven, but it's done its job. That's all it's important. Yes, we infiltrated, used the witches, and now they'll be slain for our crimes. And I'm okay with that. Go to. All right, so we've managed to get that infiltrated. Bastion there. Start moving the darkness. Or here. What's the security is still too high. We have that fort. That will um move through security. Go to. All right, dismiss. Falling to shadow, falling to shadow. Excellent. Your job. What are you doing? Orc Slayer, 9, 2, 4, Might 4. Okay, but you should probably, since we'll want him to lay low, we're going to do it in a town that doesn't have any shadow, so that we can... Oh, good. Another Baron's look. So we can just start shadowing the place for the funsies. Okay, we've got to keep track of the ones we want to keep. Their shadow looks like. Yeah, yeah one of you guys is going down soon. Let's get this going, and we have access now to the Baron here since we've desecrated the site. Small things. Okay, you go to you. Ooh. Five menace. Why not? 
Okay, so you're at Fort Emmett. You infiltrate the fortress. We'll do security in the city. We'll bring the courtier in, and we shall have a security of do, do the bribery. Security of one should be burn right through the uh, the docks in the market, and just start expanding the shadow even further. But you notice the shadow's already started moving because we dumped so much of it from the corrupted coven, which is a thing I've done. All right, so oh, ancient ruins. It's so tempting, but not right now. You can go through ruins and find interesting things. Or nothing at all, or die horribly. It's just kind of how life goes. Or life in this world. Or lost to shadow. Losing to shadow. Okay, the abbey is going... Go to. Alright, so you're at 7 and 17. I want you to keep going for a bit. Ah, two, two, two turns left. And yes, you've infiltrated the fortress. Two hit points. Profile, no, this is five challenge, mage, shadow, heals, or eh, power. You currently, what do you want to do? It's actually rob the treasury or subtle thiever. You do rob treasury, somebody notices somebody's falling completely to shadow. Excellent. Everybody's freaking out. Good. Subtle thievery, go to. Camp catacombs. Alright, so now we have catacombs, which was kind of the focus of death. If you notice, by the way, for the overlay, you can see if you look at death, if any death shows in these locations, it'll be shunted to the uh, catacombs. Right now, there's nothing like dying going. We're just not doing our job properly. Okay, now that we want to do this and we have some cash, we could. This is three. We can drop blowing through the city, but if your defense is three, we should go in here, since that's a capital. Drive the guards, which takes two turns, and you might. See, we've got 23, which is good. 62%. 18. Security is at 5. That is our next target. Fortress. And again, we're just going to... Ooh, can't do that because you don't know shadow, do you? Oops. Back, back, back. That was a mistake. Only exists where there's 50% shadow. Okay, so we have a target. Go to. You have infamous. So yeah, when he dies, he's going to lower the um, heat for everybody else. Go to. Dismiss. Excellent. Another person getting lost in the darkness. All right. So at the Abbey is current. What are you doing? Hero, what are you doing? It's just as long as you're not trying to attack an honest politician, merely making a uh, trip around town. Speaking of which, stealthy. All right. So next, probably the Bastion. But we also have a security issue. If we bring him in and do the bribe guards and we do you at the same time, you can get off. You can start working with the same bribery. Which is cool. So you'll do the market and he'll do the sewers. We'll see who gets done first. You are moving here or here. Nope. That's what you can do is break the well shadows. So they'll start dumping additional. Oh, it's okay, infiltrate fortress. Yeah, we're just we're moving. We're moving. All right. So should yeah, we should probably get some cash. You, my friend, since using the market, you can infiltrate the vast sewers. Oh, good. This is a this is a hero, the one we actually have been um hit the shadow of. We might be able to get her under our control after we lose that. Yep. Basically, he's dead. A few bunch of heroes decided to show up and uh just kill him. But Hierophant Dan ha Dan Hang has been killed. Infamous and feared within the lands, they were a visible symbol of evils facing the world. Now that he's dead, the world rises to silly of relief, believing the danger to be passed. World panic has temporarily reduced, and all agents were below half their profile and menace have their medicine profile resisted, if not already at minimum. He has died, lava is ground. The great design cares not for pawns. But yeah, so we're gonna probably roll up the episode here, and we're going to um as we are slowly approaching and shadowing the world, this section of the world by having two layers of shadow approach each other, and hopefully eventually ending up with a um yeah, we also seem to have an orcus invasion, but that's not our problem. Uh, that's this country's problem. It's not our country yet. And maybe if we do manage to take it over as a dark empire, we can in fact um you know, get alliance together so we can get the orcs on our side against it and our doomed, well, probably doomed attempt. But yeah, we've got a nice patch of shadow here. We've got a, a clone of a hero doing our uh, doing our bidding by spreading darkness in this direction. Yeah, we're doing okay. Now, the thing is, is that I have to decide which hero, which um, agent I want to pick next since we've got to replace our losses. And I'll probably start bringing this guy down. 
Yeah, after we do with the infiltration, I'm definitely going to have him lay low, simply because he's been mildly successful. If, in the meantime, somebody tries to kill him, I'll just let them, probably. But, um, yeah. Then I, you'll notice, by the way, that he uh, his profile didn't go down. But, yeah, the courtiers did, and so did the supplicant. Yeah, nobody's even noticed us. They're like, okay, well, we've got the high priest of evil. We're done, right? Game over. Quarter return. Yeah, but the world shadow adds to that. Temporary effects on his 19%. Wow. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that will last a little while. In any case, we'll get infamous on the other guy and get him killed at some point too, but not too soon because having to do back to back to this is good. Anyways, this is fantastic world trying to put together an episode after Cult of Simulator failed horribly, and I'm so sorry about that. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that, really. I... Normally, I'd call the uh, the series and I would say, okay, I can't do it until the dev gets his shit back together. I can will try to do some finagling, so to speak, with the um, add some finagling with the uh, saves function to see if that will work. But I can't make any promises, so we're gonna leave that in a question mark, and maybe I'll just throw it all together in some. Oh, I should probably save this, by the way. Maybe we'll throw it all together into some. Uh, there we are. Save game, a save. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then we'll all together, and then we'll just miss. There we go. We'll uh, figure out what we're doing. Now, I don't actually expect to win this one. I mean, it's a good strategy I've got going, just trying to murk everything into shadow. Therefore, these guys won't join the alliance. As you can see, I mean, we haven't even put any effort into infiltrating this place. It's already at 64%, the castle at 27%. One of their heroes is about to go. I mean, this guy's shadow is not insignificant. I like how he's got an axe there. But yeah, it's gold cruelty. Yeah. Okay, well, he's supposedly the hero. I guess compared to us, he's a saint. But yeah. As you can see, we're spreading in this direction towards the kingdom of Inert. Now, if we can get... Yeah, he's also destroyed the orc. He's only this one left, and I expect him to finish it off pretty quickly, and we can move in that direction. Now, also, we skip across the ski, and we can start getting these micro-kingdoms, and then move into this place. Although, if I do it right, what I can do is I can use the first daughter that we've just learned, and put the demigoddess of destruction, who will just start murking the entire landscape here, as a distraction while we're doing other things. Because, you know, a whole bunch of heroes should run that direction. Should, mind you, but the problem is usually the human armies will, will kill her after a few turns. But yeah, this is kind of where we're at right now. And this is their build alliance building against us. So the question is, it's kind of a foot race at this point. To see how many of these kingdoms we can take into the darkness with us and then join them together as a giant empire and then have a really big battle. Now remember, we don't have to actually win the battle. We just have to do enough damage. We drive enough people crazy. Like for example, we've been shadowed 12 rulers and heroes. That's our 12%. And we've got, where is it? Ooh. Scores 12. Why is your victory 15%? Oh, it's because out of 80. 12 out of 80 right now for our rulers and heroes. But if we can drive them insane too, we get more value, double value for them, which is kind of cool. We can drive them crazy later, but we also haven't destroyed any settlements. Oh, yeah, you know. Works would be good for that if the humans weren't super good at killing things. This was an entire orc empire right here. And it's gone just gone so you can use a strategy using orcs but building them up into an empire yourself but they're already dead at this point so at this point it's just up to us and corrupted humans so yeah in that case i hope you enjoyed this and it's fantastic world saying for from lovecraft country and um, <laughs> shadows of forbidden gods alpha build and if you like this like share subscribe if you like it down below links to the gummer payment platform and you can help not only get access to uh, exclusive material, expand the number of episodes per month, because there's a stretch goal. Uh, every stretch goal increases a number of bonus episodes, which the will be voted on by the supporters for their content, and of course, and we're coming we'll get close onto the time when these supporters and subscribers will be voting for the next series once control is done in a couple of weeks. So, with that, I bid you adieu from the land of... I'm not sure what we call this place. Let's just call it um, Shadozia. Land of Shadozia. And it's the giant space worm who's going to come try to eat everyone. So, until next time. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.